experience anatomy where we're dedicated to providing the highest quality anatomical specimens for all levels of training. Today we're going to talk a little bit about pancreatic cancer. And in front of me here I actually have a full digestive system laid out roughly how it would lay in the body. And what we're going to focus on actually is the pancreas and the liver and its attachment to the digestive tract. Let's go ahead and find the location of this pancreas. Kind of tucked under the liver, behind the stomach, is the pancreas. The pancreas is sort of this fleshy organ because it's a gland and the cells within the pancreas are constantly excreting different chemicals or enzymes that help with its digestive process. We can see this little duct here and this is the pancreatic duct. The enzymes collect in the pancreatic duct meet up with this, the bile that's created by the liver and they dump into the small intestine together. And this neutralizes the stomach acid and produces the enzymes that help break down the food that we eat. So we've taken a look at the pancreas on an actual cadaveric tissue. And just for clarity's sake, I wanna go ahead and look at some virtual anatomy in order to clearly see what I'm talking about. I'm actually visualizing this virtual human cadaver using the visible human dissector produced by Touch of Life Technologies. In front of me here, I have an entire cadaver with just the digestive system added in and the skeletal system. And I've highlighted the pancreas here in purple. Let's go ahead and look at full body. So if I was to perform surgery to remove some pancreatic cancer, I would have to move through all of these different structures and move them out of the way in order to access the pancreas. So let's remove some more muscle and part of the large intestine. So here's the pancreas. It's really surrounded by a lot of veins, arteries, and lymphatic tissue. So you can see how this would be a difficult organ to access for surgery or to treat if there's any cancer going on in this area. So here I have this cadaver with just some of the intestinal organs. And what I really want to show is this biliary tree. So we see these drainage ports from the liver that drain bile, and it actually passes through the pancreas here before it inserts on the small intestine here. So if there's any pancreatic cancer in this area, it can actually cause blockage of not only the pancreatic duct, but also the bile duct coming from the liver. So a person with pancreatic cancer in this region could suffer some significant digestive issues. I hope you learned a little bit more about where the pancreas resides in the body and that you gained a greater appreciation for the important role that the pancreas plays in digestion. If you'd like to learn more, go ahead and reach out to us or find us at experienceanatomy.com. Experience Anatomy, where education meets application.